Welcome to the Windows 10 and Computer Channel and I've had a lot of people um, asking me what will be the impact of having Flash Player um, removed from browsers at the end of next year. A lot of people are uh, wondering because of uh, the different um, either rumors and also maybe the different aspects of Flash Player on w what they do on their computer and what impact it will have. So, okay, let's put first things first. Flash Player is almost never used anymore. When you watch a video, you actually aren't watching videos on YouTube or most websites with Flash Player at all. There are other types of technologies that have taken over that are much better and that have standards. So when you go on YouTube, when you go to, you know, Daily Emotion, when you go to most websites, they're just streaming with some of these new and much better uh, codecs that um, actually are so much better in video playback. Uh, Flash Player is a problem. A lot of people have seen some comments, people saying, well, it depends on the browser. No, Flash Player has always been the worst of all. It's always been <coughs> problematic. It always been a security issue. It is uh, independent of your browser. It doesn't have anything to do with your browser if it crashed or not. It's Flash Player itself that did that. Of course, it was improved over time. But as a tech guy, I can tell you that Flash Player was one of the major problems. It is today one of the major security problems because there's still a lot of flaws in Flash Player. There's updates all the time. And these flaws, of course, are there to be exploited. There's, of course, fake you know, Flash Player downloads that uh, they try to lure you into uh, getting and stuff like that. So the impact, of course, mostly positive of having no more Flash Player. Honestly, that is what's going to happen. The uh, video playback, no problem. No website really uses Flash for video playback anymore. If they do, I don't know, you shouldn't even be on that website because they haven't updated their technologies in a long time if they do that. Where the impact will be is on some very specific types of website. An example of that is a website that I, um, I've known, you know, known for a long, long time, uh, y8.com. That page has tons of games. And, you know, some people like that. Well, a lot of those games are actually Flash player games. That means you need Flash to actually have the game running. So uh, I think the impact will be on some of these sites that haven't updated their technologies or that have tons and tons of games that are in Flash player, coded for Flash player. And the problem is, is that they, they have nobody that will actually convert those into other types of technologies that can be used on the web. So uh, this is going to be interesting to see mostly for these types of websites. Honestly, Flash Player for most of you, because a lot of people are scared saying, oh, well, you know, when Flash Player is gone, uh, what's going to happen? Things are not going to work. Well, and unless you actually told your browser to keep it on, your Flash Player is off by default in pretty much every browser right now. It asks you if you want to run Flash content. This is kind of interesting because that means that if you haven't seen any pop-up or anything saying, hey, you want to run, run the Flash content here, you aren't seeing or going on websites that use Flash anymore. Most good websites and websites that are updated all the time have removed Flash Player from their web pages a long time ago. And the impact is very minimal. I know where I've seen the Flash Player being asked a few times, and honestly, um, they were pages that I almost never visit. So, oh, this is interesting. We're going to see what is uh, going to happen, but I don't think the impact will be big. Uh, probably mostly for people that you know play certain types of games on some websites. And remember that they have a little more than a year to actually update all of that. So when that happens, maybe they have a way of updating their code. 
maybe they could find a way to you know run virtualized flash for their own games on their own sites and still let you you know play uh, that's going to be interesting to see anyways uh, one thing for sure any website that uses flash well you should remove that from your list of websites you visit if they haven't updated at the end of next year because flash player will be gone from not only browsers but adobe won't offer it anymore and um, you won't you know you if you run that or risk running an older version of flash you're only going to end up having really huge security risks uh, because there won't be any more security updates so minimal impact i don't think flash is going to impact that much uh, anything when it's actually gone it's already very minimal uh, when I look at where I am asked to play actually flash content if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching